family life, eh? It's a bugger, isn't it, eh? It's a bugger, it's a bloody bugger, that's what it is. But you know what they say, blood is thicker than water. Yeah, and it's rubbish to wash your hair in. But <laughs> when you're a family, you have to do family things, don't you? Like, go on family holidays. That's a fucking nightmare, isn't it? <laughs> a couple of years back, we went to Antigua, which is all right if you like the Caribbean. But to be quite honest, Gatwick Village, that was the best bit. <laughs> After that, it was downhill all the way. So I'm sat on this plane, right, and because I'm a stand-up comic, I am, you have, you have to be contractually obliged to be frightened of flying. I am quite nervous, and wherever I get on a plane, I always watch the air hostess very closely because they know the difference between turbulence and engine failure. So I'm watching this air hostess. I never take my eyes off her for a second. I'm watching her, watching her like this, watching her. And the next thing I know, she starts to look nervous. Fuck, she's nervous, I'm fucking petrified. I never take my eyes off her down the aisle like this. Behind her, I'm checking her knickers for an extra parachute. They've always got one tucked away in there. You know, I'll never leave her alone for a second. And, you know, she's really tearful by now. She's dropping stuff. And I'm thinking, come the crash, bitch, I'm right behind you. And the next thing I know, we've landed. And the police are there. And the reason why she looked so nervous is that I'd frightened her. <laughs> <laughs> Right old palaver going abroad, though, isn't it? Because you've got to do all that shaving before you go, haven't you, girls? <laughs> you've got to get rid of that thick, furry pelt that you grow over the winter months. Because if you don't get rid of that, you go out in the summer, take your clothes off, everyone thinks you're a monkey, they start throwing nuts at you, you know. <laughs> shaving, shaving, shaving. Got to remember to shave this way, because if you shave that way, you cut your feet off. And that's not a good summer look. To be quite honest, Edinburgh, I don't know why us whitey Anglo-Saxons ever bother going abroad, cos we look shit on the beach. <laughs> Average British family on the beach, enough to make a shark puke. <laughs> Thank fuck for fake tan, that's all I can say. I use fake tan, I do. And then to make it a bit more authentic, I use fake peeling. I do! <laughs> I get that phyllo pastry and I loosely attach it to my shoulders and I shake and flake, oh, I do. But I am right, I am right. See, some people have got bodies designed for swimming costumes. Us Brits, we've got bodies designed for duffel coats. <laughs> the only beaches we look good on are pebble beaches in the middle of winter, you know. And to be quite honest, I don't even like beaches. I can't be doing with all that sand stuff. Oh, that sand. Doesn't it get everywhere, girls? Every nook and cranny, that sand gets right up your love tunnel. <laughs> it's right up your love tunnel, doesn't it, girls? That sand gets right up your love tunnel. Then it gets wet, turns into cement. <laughs> oh, happy holiday. Oh, happy fucking concrete funny holiday. <laughs> Didn't put the old man off, of course. Oh, no. He'd come to bed with his little shovel and pick. Hi-ho, hi-ho. 